does one keep their mental balance in a place like that? And what's the mental insanity of the people that's locked away in these places? I learned, I learned from Lewisburg that nine months. So now when I went to a different jail, a lower jail, I carry that same attitude. Lower jails, you're going to have people that's going home five years, seven years, 10 years, 12 years, something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 they going home. You ain't going to get no lifers on there. But in Lewisburg, what's their sanity? The brothers, the people that, brothers that, like you said, that's wearing those big numbers that's not Serious? going home. Serious. I seen dudes try to jump the gate, try to take taking the gate. I seen dudes serious as like, don't turn that TV, don't touch that TV. Big knife. Don't touch that TV. I seen a dude that never that's that that was around since black and white TVs. Mm. They never seen a he, he was in jail when they had black and white TVs. I've seen long-term dudes and stuff like that. So the attitudes, the seriousness. Yo, get in that library. Learn how to get out of here. Dudes didn't want me on, on in Lewisburg. I left really because dudes kicked me out of Lewisburg. They was like, you too good. You don't belong here. You don't need to be here. Nah, I want to stay here. That was my attitude. Nah, I want to stay here and be around. I want to learn. Nah. You can't stay here. Good dudes like you need to get the hell out of here and go on out your business. That's how I left Lewisburg. I Lewisburg was ready to in the mountain? Yeah. Lewisburg so is, that's, in, that's in, like is in PA. In, is in, uh, PA. Those spots where you have, they done took the mountain and blew the hole inside. And, and put it and put, and put and a prison put the, on top. The prison there. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of them. That's insane. It, it, I, I would like, and you know, the description of that because it's, is children mm -hmm. that's watching us, right? You know, that's mm -hmm. gonna watch this. And there's people that's watching that. When they wanna commit crime, they live in a life of crime and they have no idea of the reality of what you're saying. And I think sometimes we breeze past that. They need to understand the being stripped naked in yeah. front of uh, you know, uh, Listen, hundreds you going, of other men you going to be, and women you going, officers looking at you. No yeah, pride. You going you going to succumb to all that, all that being tough, thinking that I can handle that, I could do that, I could, I, I ain't nothing. No, it's something. It's going to hit you mentally. One day it's going to hit you mentally that this is what I got to do. I got to do this for how long? and don't know when it's going to happen, you're going to go through the first strips and all this and ah, such and such. But you don't know what the next day going to bring. Is that going to bring another strip search? And you in the school, you ain't did nothing. Next thing you know, they're locking the whole cell down or locking the whole jail down. They strip searching your cell. They ripping up and this and that. They throw all your personal belongings and all that stuff for nothing. You got fights and stuff like that. You might be getting stabbed. You don't know if you're a target or uh, you you good or bad. You don't know when it's coming for you. Keep your boots on and stuff like that. That's not you. You got cats walking around with clogs and slippers and stuff like that. Not in Lewisburg. You don't do that. Yeah, because Keep there's it tight. so many kids that got to get the message that. That's not the life that you want to Nah, have. man, That's because you it, it's, end up at. it's hard. It's hard. It'd be hard on you. It'd be hard on your family. Because they put you places your you. family can't even really come right. visit. Right, so that's what makes it harder on your family. And then it makes it harder on you because you can't see them. And then you got a few minutes on the phone and stuff like that. You got 15 minutes on the phone. You can't talk to them. And you can't handle your business. You can't talk to your loved ones. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You weigh up five hours from New York. The ride a bus that's uncomfortable. Yeah. And you got grandfather, you got older folks, you got all this. It, it's hard. And you think you can handle it. You're going to break down. And I completely down. commend you for being able to come home after 20 years and be yeah. sane. You know, I, 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 like you know, I said. Because yeah. that's like gets overlooked, you know what I'm saying? For you to even be sitting here saying that's, you know, a blessing of God. I appreciate it. I mean, I, 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 like I said, I studied. I studied man, I studied life. I 
like I no put no blessing. I mean, no um, religious on it. But I'm more science temple. I mean, we all Moors. But I I studied Noble Drew Ali, and it brought. I ain't say I got tricked into it, but I stumbled across it, and it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? It made me think more. It made me say more. I became a grand sheik. Even when people left the temple because they moved, you know, transfers and stuff like that, I'm still in there. I'm learning myself. Even though I didn't know no, nothing at that time, I started learning and learning. And that little pamphlet, boy, that taught you the whole fa your family. So it's like I grew. And I tell wifey, like, I'm no longer spig nice of the lost boys like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm him. I'm 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 better. You know what I'm saying? You awaken. Yeah. So I I see a lot of I do a lot of different things and people respect it. You know what I'm saying? I I tell the truth. I keep the truth here so you can see it. You know what I'm saying? People nowadays they don't like the truth. They don't like the truth. Everybody nowadays like the disguises and the lies and stuff like that. That's in hip hop. That's in the world. I be yeah. seeing a lot of stuff in the world. And I'd be like, that's not right. And then you're not telling the people what's right. And Always that makes that. you not telling your man and this and that and the girl. It's just, it's ugly. <laughs> the world is ugly. <laughs>